。来。来。Okay, that's done. So the D's crest. Oh, episode three, a crooked mile. Thank you, thank you. Title screen. Some shit just happened. The D's just shot me. We're lucky this didn't draw attention with all the I did fucking as well as gunshots. I could take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll uh, eventually warm their way out on their own, but who? until they do, you're going to be sore. Who are you? Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fable Town oh. physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. What's that? Take it easy. I do not take it easy. <sighs> Thank you. Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. Uh, and try and get some rest. How's everyone else? How's everyone else? Is, is uh, Polly dead? Make it. They're fine. Oh, that's good. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. I don't know what the fuck that is. The Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Thanks. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. I'll try. I'll try to. All right then. Very good. Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. Thank you, Mr. Schweinhart. More books, fable entries. Thank you. What? Oh. Awkward. So, I get to it. recap, Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. I cool. Don't cover it. And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. Really? So, I guess that's the plan currently. But I, I don't know. Do we have any other leads? There's no other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Fuck Just, if I know. I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? You know? Everything points I to I don't him. think so. I get it, but... Do you really think he killed those women? I doubt because it. It's just it's, it's incomprehensible. He just doesn't to seem like he'd be I'm physically capable are, or capable honest. of doing it. I don't know. I mean, Lily was a troll. Just doesn't make sense. He's And Crane's he a fucking a coward. Conniver, a, a coward. Exactly there. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. Mm -hmm. Murdering prostitutes. Ow. Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I kind of feel bad for I'm Holly because we fucked there. up her sister's funeral. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. I mean, that was a shit Crane show. Kills everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Well, we do live a long fucking time, according to... Can Whatever I, the fuck that pig's um, name was. Ask you a question? Sure. It's kind of personal. What's up? And I don't want to offend you. What is on your mind, Miss Snow White? Mind. It's just when stuff hits the fan, like like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city. It feels kind of like home. Uh-huh. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside you kind of enjoy it um when things go wrong uh because it gives you an excuse to just uh, you know you know what no according to what i fuck. said no i don't enjoy it are you kidding me it's horrible what happened to there me. we go i wish it didn't happen i shouldn't have said anything forget that i did thank you I killed to eat things. Uh, guys, I am not an evil monster, thank you. What is it? Despite what people say. It's missing a piece. 
What do you mean? I didn't actually mean to say it like that, but that's fine. Yes, it's, oh. uh, it's not here. Oh shit, the mirror. Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I, I can't believe this. I was off this. on a tangent and I didn't I realize what was going Crane on. I saw something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? It can do that? I have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. Um, how long will it saying, take? Waiting is an option. No. We um, can't depend on How long? All right. How long will it take for the mirror to reform? Well, it could take days. Or months, or years. Oh! He had to have left something Never mind then. where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. Bufkin? We can still solve this ourselves. I know Never that Never mind that. Come help me look. Okay. Chill out. I want to talk to Buffkin first. If I can. Yep, yep, Buffkin. Magic lamp. Who put the lamp back? Huh? Buffkin? What's up? Can I ask you some shit about what happened? Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. That's cool. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Oh, goody. Hmm. Um, why didn't you stop Crane? Why didn't you try and stop him? What do you want me to do, yank on his hair? I'm only three feet tall. There are limits here. Fair enough. Okay, okay. Uh, see anything else? You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. Hmm. Well, it's not your fault. Look, uh, Whatever the, the fuck it is. Thing, oh, yeah. It's not your fault, alright? You mean it? Sure. Yeah. It's cool. It's not like you I'll actually broke it. See if I can do anything about this. You do that. Alright. I still want to know what the fuck's under there, but I guess I'll never know what's under the purple sheet of destiny. Do we got any more tarot cards? Nope. Uh, anything else? Anything else? Still got this guy right here. Can I talk to him? Nope. Snow, tell me what's up. Find anything? Buffkin says that he overheard Crane call somebody before he left. Oh, yeah. Sounds like he's going to see a witch, or his witch. His glamour witch. Wait, really? None Sounds like it. None of the 13th floor witches would allow that sort of thing. They must be somewhere in the city. It's something, at least. Find anything? No, but there's enough notes and stuff here to take all night. Maybe check that stuff there. Fair enough. Crane's desk. Oh shit, a lot of, lot of stuff. Oh, inbox. What is it? Oh, it's the, the key. key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. Uh. I want to know. I need to know. Blood and flowers. Blood and flowers. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. Yep. <sighs> Stalkers ain't fun. So much you can repress, you know. I mean, I don't know much about your history, but we'll get him. Don't worry, Snow. We'll get him. He can't hide forever. Come on, let's keep looking. Whether he's a headless horseman or not. Oh, okay. Let's take a look at the letter. Apparently, I'm not going to read it out loud, so here's my attempts to read. Ichabod Crane, are you... Are, are there any updates on the extra funding I requested as I explained in my last letter? The conditions here could do with some improvement. I'm seeing some int uh, unrest from the residents, and I have to admit I can see why. The farm should not be a punishment. I'm sure you are busy, but I can think this, or I think this should be made a priority. Best, Wayland Smith. I don't know who you are. 
it is difficult to read on my small screen. Actually, not at all. I'm just not used to reading in a sideways manner. Oh, God, blue. Dear Mr. Ichabod Crane, I'm writing to ask again that you please send someone to fix the air conditioning in our unit. It's burning up the in the apartment, and Pinocchio says his skin is splintering. I don't know what that means, but I assume it's something um, gross. Uh, and I'd like if you'd fix the air like we asked you three months ago. At the very least, provide us a fan. In the meantime, sincerely, Boy Blue. Thank you, Boy Blue. That was pointless. More pointless letters to read. Yay! Mr. Crane, you said you'll pay to have the plaster redone in my building after the last incident in 204. It's falling it's falling off the fucking walls. Please fix it. I can't rent it out. Or I can't rent it out. I can't fucking see anything. I can't rent it out this way. And I've already been waiting for days. Not to mention you've already promised me you would send someone to fix the big crack in the glass on the front door. Well, guess what? It's worse now. Get your shit together, Mr. Toad. Thank you, Mr. Toad. You proved I have trouble reading sideways. Did Crane ever do any work? Only when Cole was around. That or I have trouble reading things out loud. That's probably the issue. Whatever. Open the fucking drawer. Okay. Force open the fucking drawer. There we go. Book. Book of... Oh, I didn't have enough time to read. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? The ring of something. It's a ring, at least. I already gathered that. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Hmm. Yeah, I only recently heard about this meeting. Why didn't you mention this before? Um. No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Oh shit, is Bluebeard. Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called uh, me to... called just Not to really. see if you knew where Crane could be. And that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? The mirror can't be fixed. No, okay. it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Uh, Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? Chill out. I don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. Thank you, Buffkin. A.M. or P.M. A.M. Listen, Blue. That was you're not completely necessary. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Define help. What do you, know, do about you Crane? know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. What, like you? Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I need okay, guys, stop in the first arguing. The mirror was the most logical You're thing. A oh God! He's the sheriff, and none of you were chosen to run this office. Neither Who are you. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody. But that Who doesn't. Who elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years. Now. Unofficially is not. Snow can handle it, motherfucker. Snow can obviously handle this. So God let's damn it, Bluebeard! It. Well then, stop being such a prick. Excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. Fuck your commonwealth. All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And Goody. a few shorter hours, the more you babble about it. 
We haven't been the ones babbling. We're trusting yeah, Buffkin? If he's even going there. We're trusting a monkey's interpretation of a phone call. Sorry, it's Buffkin. It's not an interpretation. It's what he said, all right? Yeah, Fine. and it's what we have. So let's go on it, okay? Fine. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably Actually, I think she probably would have already burned them at her funeral. Something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? Um... It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option uh, to track the witch down. That we can always do both. Focus. Look, chances are I'll have to swing by both anyways. So. No, chances are you won't have time. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why oh, the his apartment. Not? I didn't think of that. We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Like we then need I'll a fucking key. Oh! Lock. <sighs> I've wasted enough well, I guess that's more intricate than what I would have done, but okay. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I have no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, um, now it's evidence. Why don't you just... You uh, no you're not going anywhere. How about that? Seat. Bluebeard, you're not going anywhere. Really now? And what? You gonna stand here and babysit me? While the rest of your leads evaporate into mist? Fine. I have to find the witch, Prick. Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse. Crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Man, you don't know how, this is how a smart person strong that could be. So this it could is be how Fable Cushions. Going to do it. Fable Wherever cushions. you go, right, I'll right. go to the other. Oh I shit. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. Okay, He's so up to something. I don't know what it is. No going back to time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? I have to make a decision, don't I? Fuck! Find the witch. Okay. Oh god, there's three choices. So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. Okay. Let's let's The D's well promising. So you leave Crane alone? And we leave you. They down. hmm you and all your I don't Okay, okay. You, These are you. promising, but so I don't think they would actually alone, and we leave have you much down. use to me right now. Because you they're probably not gonna be there. Crane's apartment seems like the best lead so far, because there's some business. He, all his shit's there and he probably didn't have time to get anything. Holly seems like Probably the worst place to go, given how they currently feel about me. And there's also the high chance you already burned the shit. So I'm gonna go to Crane's. Let's do it! Crane's place is right here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles' office. Alright, so I guess we got a plan. Crane's house number is 1903. Let me know what you find. I hope you know what you're doing. I have no fucking idea what I'm doing, thank you. Thank you. 